first thing I noticed was that the alarm was going off and my passcode wouldn't even turn it off. I turned over here and I saw that ice was shooting out of the ice maker. And then as I walked around the kitchen, I realized the toaster oven didn't work, but the oven did work. The under cabinet lights didn't work. The overhead lights did work. And as I did a survey of the whole house, I realized, boy, I really, I really lost a lot of appliances. I had to replace the refrigerator. I had to replace the electric dryer. I even had to replace the doorbell. And homeowners insurance covered all of it, but I mm -hmm. never wanted it to happen again. It you had a surge, a uh, power surge, and what a power surge is is an instantaneous spike in voltage, and that spike in voltage creates havoc, as you know, inside your home. The spike in voltage or the surge, it can happen through lightning, it can happen through the utility fluctuations that are coming into your home, and it can also be created inside your home through your equipment that you have. Your air conditioner create a surge, your dryer can create a surge, and, and a bad appliance or a bad device that just sends electricity into your house. All those things create surges. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few different ways to protect your house from surges. It all starts at the electrical panel. Where's that? Right down the basement. Great. The most important place to protect your home from surges and spikes is right here at the main electrical panel. We have the main power that comes in through this main wire and it distributes itself throughout your home through these branch circuit breakers. They go to your televisions, your lights, your outlets, all your appliances. So what we're going to do is protect it at this point. I've brought with me a whole house surge protection device. This device it gets mounted to the side of your electrical panel and it monitors the electricity that's coming in to your home. If there's an increase or a spike, it takes the electricity that's there and the excess and it sends it down safely into the ground. Sounds great. Let's get started. Okay. This white wire ties to the neutral bus bar and ensures you have a direct path to ground. And these two black wires are gonna get tied into the circuit breaker, which is gonna get mounted as close to the main power wires as we can. It's gonna protect all the circuit breakers in the panel. Okay, that's it. We have a whole house surge protection device installed at your main panel. Make sure that circuit breaker stays on and there's a green LED on the side. Okay, great. Is there anything I need to do to maintain it? Not at all. Just keep an eye on that green LED. Keep the circuit breaker on. When it, this device becomes at the end of its protection level, the green LED will go out. Just give me a call. Okay. Does that mean I'm protected? At the main panel you are. Let me show you some devices that we use at point of use. We can put those inside your home. Sounds great. All right. We need to protect all sensitive electronics like computers and printers in your home. I thought that that's what I was doing with this. This is a power strip only. There's no surge protection in this. It's just a, basically a multiplier of the wall receptacle. I did not know that. So what I've brought here is a power strip with surge protection built in. There's receptacles over here for the wider transformer type plugs, and then they're a little closer over here. We also have ethernet, telephone, and TV built in. And you can see a green LED that shows that you're protected. Okay, great. I have another one to show you. Let's go downstairs. In some instances, a surge protection strip is not going to work. Here's one of them. Your television is mounted cleanly on the wall. There's no wires, but it still needs surge protection. The outlet behind the television, we can replace. We can replace it with this surge protection outlet. And this outlet, just like the other ones, has an LED on it. When the protection is there, it's on. However, it has something else. It has an alarm and that alarm will make a noise when the protection is no longer any good. That way there, if you don't see the outlet, you can still hear it. Sounds great. So I've gone ahead and shut the power off. To install the surge protection outlet, I'm gonna insert the wires into the back of the device and clamp them down with these screws. And 
There you go. Your television's now protected, and your whole house is protected. You mean I'm protected against the power surge and a lightning strike? You never know. Lightning may strike twice. Thanks so much, Scott. Oh, you're welcome. Lightning striking twice sounds a little magical, but <laughs> so does your box right here, Scott. I don't completely understand how that works. Electricity is very lazy. It wants to go to the ground as fast as possible and in the shortest route. So this surge protective device, it mounts directly onto your main power wires where they come in mm -hmm. and it monitors them. And if the voltage increases, it'll send that extra voltage down through the ground right to the earth and dissipate it. So you're saying the distance from here where you've installed it down the ground is very short, but I watched you install it at the top of the bar next to other breakers that seem to be just as short of a distance away from ground. Physically, they look that way, but actually the circuit breaker will go up to the middle of the house 40 feet away to supply power to a refrigerator. It'll come back oh. another 40 feet. It's 80 feet. 80 feet is a lot of resistance there, so we've made it real short and send the power right to the ground. I get it, okay. Now suppose someone has an old house and the circuit panel is full and they want to have whole house protection. How do you do it? So we have this surge protective device combination circuit breaker oh. and it replaces two circuit breakers. In this case, they were 20s. We take the device, put it in its spot, put the branch circuit wires back on the circuit breaker like nothing ever happened, and it's whole house protective device right there at the panel. And you still have your two breakers. We still have the two breakers, and we have now protection right here. Good. So if you end up with whole house protection either this way or that way, why do we then also need um, point of use protection? Well, surges, not all surges originate outside. A lot of surges can also originate inside from, for example, a window air conditioning unit oh, yeah. that when that window air conditioning kicks on and kicks off, those are creating surges when it comes back off. When the unit shuts off, the surge comes right back up. Yeah. That's a surge. So those surges can go right to a computer because they're not going to pass necessarily through the panel? That's right. So we have these devices, which gives it the shortest amount of distance to the ground and protects that device. All right. Mm. Good information. Real nice to have. Yeah, thank you. You're